The Big Monster. Once upon a time, there was a town. There were many animals living there. In the town, there was a sheep. Her name was Riley. Riley was a warm-hearted girl. She loved to help people in need, so everyone liked her very much. Riley went to a forest to pick some fruits every day. One day, she went to the forest as usual, and she found the fruit which she had not seen before. She was curious about the fruit. She picked the fruit and took a bite of it. You, it tastes terrible. Riley said and turned away to pick other fruits. A couple of days later, everyone realized that they had not seen Riley for a long time. They thought maybe Riley lost her way in the forest. At night, everyone went to the forest to find Riley. Nobody could find where Riley was. However, they encountered some strange things when they were in the forest. Some people said they heard a strange sound like a monster roaring. Some people said they stepped on some sticky things like a monster saliva. And some people said they saw a big mysterious shadow that looked like a figure of a monster. Rumors started to spread throughout the town. Everyone started to believe there was a big monster living in the forest, and Riley must have been eaten by the monster. One day, Barney went to the forest to pick some fruits. He accidentally hurt his leg. He could not walk. It was getting dark. Barney still could not move. He thought of the rumor and became nervous. He heard a sound of a roaring monster. Barney thought it must be that monster that made the sound. He awaited the monster to appear. Nothing showed up, but wind. Barney then realized the sound was the sound of a wind. Barney then tried to stand up and walk, and he felt something sticky under his leg. Barney thought it was the big monster saliva. He was scared and awaited the monster to appear. Again, nothing showed up. Barney later realized it was just the rotten fruits. Barney kept walking. He saw a big shadow. Barney thought it was a monster's shadow, and the monster was just around the corner. Barney was scared and awaited the monsters to appear. The big shadow slowly approached him. Help! Is anyone here? Barney cried out for help, but there was no one in the forest. Oh no! The big monster is coming! Barney thought. Go away, big monster! Barney yelled. He picked up a stone and threw it at a big shadow. Ouch! The big monster showed up. Hey, I know you're scared of me, but don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm here to help you," said the monster. Barney was so afraid that he could not say anything. The monster carried Barney on the back and sent Barney to the town. When the monster and Barney arrived, they found out the town was being engulfed by a big fire. The monster rushed to help. The monster carried everyone to a safe place and helped put off the fire. People knew the monster did not come to hurt them. The monster helped them. They walked closer to the monster and looked the monster at its eyes to say thank you. Your eyes, you have Riley's eyes. Riley, you are Riley. How did you become like this? I ate a mysterious fruit and then I became like this. Everyone thought I was a big monster, so I had to hide myself in the forest. Riley said. People then realized that even though Riley's appearance changed, Riley was still Riley. She was still that lovely girl with a kind heart who loved to help. That night, the town held a festival to celebrate the safe return of Riley. There is no monster in the forest. In fact, there is no monster in the world. Appearance may change. But the kind heart will not.